exciting thing about the exchange model is that we are able to reach a wide array of different communities and populations that are in need of our services. Black Women Lead does a number of different kinds of distributions depending upon where they identify the need to be. Black Women Lead is entirely volunteer run. My name is Shannon Morton. I'm the founder of Black Women Lead, which is a local LA-based nonprofit that serves the community based on the diverse needs of black women. And we amplify the voices of brown and black women. We serve everyone, uh, but we tailor to you know low-income families, women with children, single mothers, just people who might need a little bit of extra help. We're serving everyone from seniors to low-income families to people in temporary shelters to people that are just unhoused in general. We get, uh, you know, salad kits. We get uh, trays, trays of uh, different like meats, mixed vegetables, a grain, barley, or a quinoa. And so, the, when we get the big trays of food, we get to go out into the unhoused community and give them a hot meal. So we always love tray days. Some of the temporary shelters that we serve uh, only have like a little hot plate. So they love the fresh romaine, the cucumbers, the squash, all of these fresh tomatoes and things you can eat, just really fresh salad. When you're on a fixed budget, you're getting this processed food. So they absolutely love getting all of the fresh stuff and uh, eating healthy and well too. That's, it makes them feel good. They also have worked with the LGBT community and the trans community. Uh, they've been known to go to areas where there is a big presence of trans women who uh, need the food that we provide. And they work with the community, with the LGBT community to make sure that this food gets distributed. My name is Nicole and uh, I've been, in, my, in the past of my life I've been, I've been I've, I've been hungry before, so I know what it's like to not to have food. Um, I hooked up with Shannon uh, because she has uh, the ability to come up with food, and I know a lot of people who need food. So she brings it to me, and what I do is I, 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 I go out and about, and I find people who need it, who can use it, and I give it to them. Uh, previous to this hotel, I, was, um, I had a, a small stint of homelessness, but then I, had a, I had a job for a couple years working. I had, was, um, watching a property for a guy. He sold the property, so I went homeless again. But no, I, about a year now. It's been about a year. I do know other people who have apartments that, that they're, you know, they're paying all their money in rent. They can't afford food. So um, they're very thankful for that. They love it. Um, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. It's hard to get access to it because it's pricey. Sometimes it's pricey, you know? People, I think a lot more people would eat that way, you know, fresh vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, if they had access to it. It's really needed right now. Food is scarce for a lot of people, uh, especially with the economy the way it is. And, you know, coming out of COVID, uh, during COVID, when people didn't have jobs or when money, or, you know, was short, this food has really been able to help a lot of families and a lot of women and a lot of children. People are happy, they're enjoying it. I mean, they're like, it brings a real smile to their face, I'm telling you. I'm just very thankful that I'm in this position to be able to help other people eat as well as eat myself, you know, good stuff. I appreciate it sincerely and I'm just really grateful that I'm in this position. Everybody has their own story as to why they don't have food, so we're just looking to fill in that gap. Really, at, at Black Women Lead, we just ask, what are the needs and how can we give? And this is, the biggest need that I find in the community.